So what can we do? I mean, you, you know, listening to you, it sounds like we're surrounded by it, which we probably are, but what are some steps people can take to, you know, eliminate their, their exposure and risk? Well, that's the reason that, that with Boyd Haley's help, I wrote that article, mm -hmm. is, is that, that 4,700 people died, soldiers died in Iraq, and, and we were upset about a war. And every year the Iraq war went on, 16,000 American babies died uselessly because of misplaced policies of our government. And that just like the Libyans were able to remove Muammar Gaddafi from being under his thumb, the people had to get mad enough that they're willing to stand up and tell the government, no, I don't want it done that way. I know you're elected, but we're going to diselect you you're going to have to go find some other form of employment. Well, of course, they've nicely given themselves full retirement forever if they've served an hour. But anyway, we're going to have to change the people we elected or get the people we have elected to behave properly. Mm. What they will do when you confront them is that they'll point to the Center for Disease Control. Well, the Center for Disease Control does not control water. It doesn't regulate drugs. So when you add something to the water to drug the you know, person that uses that water, and that's what fluoride is, it's a drug used to reduce tooth decay. FDA said it is a drug. So where's the approval? It doesn't exist. Would the FDA ever approve silica fluoride for anything? No. So we need to make the regulatory agencies of the United States government do the job we're paying them to do, and if they don't, we can find other employment for them, you know, like janitor or something. Mm -hmm. You cannot legally open the amalgam capsule that they mix the mercury fillings with without having a respirator, a hood, a tank, and nobody else can be present that's not an employee and given informed consent. So how's that working in the dental office? We have scientific studies showing that the women in dental offices are rendered infertile by their exposure, occupational exposure to mercury. Well, ask the Occupational Health and Safety, OSHA, we did how many offices they've inspected for the level of mercury? None. How many dental schools have they gone in and inspected to see that the students are protected? None. Say, I think I can balance the budget. We've got all these regulatory agencies that have chosen not to regulate. Food and Drug Administration still allows fluoride tablets to be sold, although they rejected every single application. They allowed them to be voluntarily withdrawn in 1975, so there's no evidence of benefit. Hmm. But it's still on the market. Hmm. So we've got something that has no benefit on the market, and we've got people making hundreds and two hundred thousand dollars a year salaries that don't want to do their job. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now we can balance the budget because we can find something else for them to do, mm -hmm. like collect unemployment. 